Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania sponsors this podcast and it's having a promotion right now that's so good it's scary. Buy one window or door and get another window or door at 40% off. Ooh, plus another $250 off your whole project. That's at no money down, no payments, and no interest for a whole year. Check out RenewalByAnderson.com to learn more. Philadelphia, for the first time in years, is seeing fatal overdoses go down. Meanwhile, there's going to be a hearing concerning Keystone Cement. It's peak deer season, so drivers be wary. Also, this woman said she was an FBI agent, but she wasn't. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in PA. Philadelphia, for the first time in five years, is seeing a drop in overdose deaths, reports why. Fatal ODs rose every year since 2018, but 2023 data released by the City Health Department yesterday has at last indicated a decrease. A small one, 1,122 deaths compared to 1,207 from the year before, but a decrease nonetheless. Now, it should be noted that this data is preliminary and may be subject to change. But it does align with a nationwide trend, which is leaving many public health experts hopeful that certain efforts such as more access to naloxone and an expansion in addiction treatment centers is proving to be effective. The state has scheduled a public hearing this month on renewing a hazardous waste storage permit for Keystone Cement in Northampton County, reports the morning call. This permit has a provision for the company to transport this material by train, which is a cause for concern for both residents and environmentalists. The route of transport goes right through several communities, sparking worries that a nearby creek might get polluted by running hazardous materials. So there's a call for extra assurance that officials are actively involved in planning for an emergency response in the event there's a derailment. There's already been two Norfolk Southern derailments this year, and let's not forget about East Palestine. Keystone Cement, on its end, has said that rail transport is statistically safer than that by road by a significant margin, and the permit does include the creation of a rail unloading enclosed container containment area. It's deer breeding season, states NBC10, so drivers, please be wary. PennDOT has issued its annual keep an eye out for deer statement as the animals are out and about looking for love but not looking both ways. In fact, they're more likely to dart right out into the road. So again, please drive slowly, use caution, and keep your eyes peeled. A woman sauntered into the SCI Camp Hill State Prison on Wednesday morning claiming, without any credentials, to be an FBI agent and that she needed to take custody of an inmate there, says PenLive. The ruse didn't work, but an A for creativity, I guess. Actually, B minus. The woman was 30-year-old Rebecca Fry of Mechanicsburg, and she did get charged for attempting to help someone escape impersonating a public servant, defiant trespassing, hindering apprehension, and criminal use of a communication facility. Who she was trying to help escape wasn't made public. That's it, folks. For even more news, drop by penlive.com. Also, please don't forget to rate this podcast wherever you may listen to it and to write a review, too. Thanks ahead of time, and of course, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll see you for Friday's episode of Today in PA. Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania sponsors this podcast and it's having a promotion right now that's so good it's scary. Buy one window or door and get another window or door at 40% off. Ooh, plus another $250 off your whole project. That's at no money down, no payments, and no interest for a whole year. Check out RenewalByAnderson.com to learn more.